Today is an extra special day. So I'm in my greenhouse and it smells like forest floor and the birds are singing and my seedlings are growing in full sunlight and it's humid and warm. This space is meant to transport you somewhere unique, somewhere different, somewhere maybe even slightly magical. One of my favorite gardeners has always been Beatrix Potter, and I think her illustrations and her stories, they have a way of taking you somewhere special. That's exactly what I want this space to do. So when you come in and the stacks of terracotta pots and all the little seedlings and even some of the overwintered jasmine come out to greet you, you know you're someplace different than you were before. Even now as I sit here for the first time, I can hear the birds singing, I can hear the slightest bit of rain dripping on the roof above me. Now that the greenhouse is done, we're gonna start this gradual climb all through the season. The first step of which is getting the topsoil here. I not so patiently waited for it to arrive and lo and behold, it finally did. We have 20 yards of topsoil sitting at the bottom of our driveway. And to me, this is just like seeing a big pile of blank canvases because all I see are the beautiful things I can plant in it. And of course, my kids just wanted to climb all over it. I kept him off it for about five seconds until I remembered, like, for a kid, this is literally as good as it gets. So they've spent the better part of the last two days just playing on it. Of course, they won't be allowed to do that once there's flowers planted. So now that the anticipation of the dirt arriving is over, we begin a continual climb in the anticipation of waiting for all the flowers to come. I shop a lot at local nurseries, but I also find myself going online to get some specialty varieties of things that I just couldn't get locally. So I find this primarily from two different stores online. One of them is Bluestone Perennials. The other is One Green World. So in this greenhouse garden area, I want to utilize some berries and some trees. So we have things like a hardy fig tree and almond trees and raspberry plants that will be coming top of that I just want to fill these beds with perennials so I found myself just pouring over these catalogs and circling and recircling and crossing out and really ultimately gravitated towards more of a pastel palette which is not typical we have much brighter shades up in the potager garden but that's what's so fun is when you're painting every canvas can be a little bit different so this space is going to be uniquely different from the potager which is going to be uniquely different from the market garden which is gonna be uniquely different from all the other beds on the other side of the house. Nature is already going crazy and painting its own pictures. I have the most gorgeous purple crocuses popping through and the little teeniest, tiniest bright green chunks of daffodils showing their heads. So it's already getting to work. I'm ready to get to work. I'm ready to create this painting. 